All right, I got a good one for you today, guys. The color of money. Boy, has it changed over the course of time. Or not really. Not really. It's, it's, it's changed as far as shape, size, and how it's issued, but it hasn't really changed too much. Uh, you got some currency here, you got silver, you got gold, and it's changing again. It's going to be invisible. We all have, are aware of what's taking place. And if you're living under rock, welcome to the reality that is of today. Now, if you do any type of spending or any type of shopping online, then you, you're already using digital currency. You're already doing that. You're already participating in that. You're just using a bank. Transaction that you make online is already tracked. I don't know if you guys are aware of that or not, but it is. A central bank digital currency is the real big talk around town. Now, it's not something that uh, I take, you know, lightly. And I want you guys to know as much about it as I can, as you can. And I'm going to try to give as much information to you as I can. Now, the biggest concern that a lot of people have is control or privacy or knowing exactly where the money's coming from. Now, until we get more information about how our central bank digital currency, whatever you want to call it, Fed coin, I think over in England, they're calling it Bitcoin. Uh, the biggest concern for me is obviously privacy. And whenever you're talking about uh, gold and silver, obviously you have plenty of privacy. You know, you could pay, you know, you can exchange this for whatever, you know, if someone's willing to take it, that is your money, right? Uh, same thing with this, same thing with cash. You're seeing a lot of people, well, not necessarily people, but you're seeing a lot of businesses get away from it, uh, totally 100% getting away from cash. And I never thought that that, that would be the day. But uh, here we are, it's, it's taking place. And um, it's quite strange, to be honest, it's something I'm not used to. The currency, the way we do business, the way we go about life, it's all changing. So what do you got to do? You got to change with it? Not necessarily. I don't think that this is something that's going to take place overnight. I think we have some time here to prepare. Even though the Fed is moving forward, he still needs authorization. Uh, the laws in this country, as far as the United States goes, Congress still <laughs> controls the purse, right? Even though they may enact these crazy laws and not know what's what's in them. Okay, I get that. I understand that uh, aspect. But as far as the Fed being able to issue funds to the public without congressional approval is illegal and it's not possible. He has to have the authorization of Congress. Not only that, but he also has to have both branches sign off on it and it has to become law. You can't just do it by a an executive order. There's just no way that it's going to hold up. I just don't foresee that taking place. Another concern that you should have about central bank digital currencies and the one that nobody really talks about is cybersecurity. Uh, this is something that uh, if, if your entire currency is centralized, the whole thing is centralized, then you're vulnerable to a, an attack. And if your currency is 100% attacked, then the people are going to lose faith in said currency. So that is another thing that is a big red flag for me as far as it's just central bank digital currency. Now, another thing that should be another red flag to you is the way that you go about spending money, right? The way you go about transaction. Not everybody is familiar with buying or sending and receiving cryptocurrency. So a lot of people get confused. I know whenever I first did it, I was confused. I was like, what is it? I was worried about if it was going to take place. I was worried if the person was going to get the money. You know, it's it's crazy. And it's going to be an extremely frustrating time whenever people actually have to go to use that. Because it's, it's if it's done by the government, it's not going to be done right. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's something that's going to have to start out small. And, and I'm, I agree with uh, two is one on this one. I think it's going to be government payouts, right? Like your, uh, what, what is it? Your social security payments, which is kind of scary in itself because our seniors, they, they're not really tech savvy. You're going to see your income tax returns, things like that. I think it's going to be government agency payouts first, benefits first or to our veterans, whatnot. I think that's what it's going to roll out to first. And I think that is going to be the test pilot program for the central bank digital currencies. Now, whether or not that works, I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, the thing about it is, is you have to prepare. 
Now, do you have to go out and put your entire 401k in gold and silver? No, absolutely not. But you do need to know the basics. I do recommend that you learn as much as you can while you can. And now is the time, if ever, to prepare. And so if you are uh, wanting to get gold or silver, absolutely. But just remember, if you do use your card online, if you do bank online, if you do anything online, it's already tracked. So the fact that uh, you're not using some form of digital currency right now, it's already taking place. All right. So the next part of this video, and it's not sponsored anyway. I'm just I know I'm, I do that normally. But but right now I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Ethereum uh, upgrade that's coming up here later in March. So this could be an opportunity for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are into crypto. I'm into crypto. I like it. I, I do like uh, I don't trade too much of it. You know, I'd, I'd like to get in uh, and then I like to get out and get back in. Sometimes, sometimes I swing trade it, but but for the most part right now, I'm, I'm holding. And I want you guys to be aware of this information because the last time we had this upgrade like this, uh, it was a buy the rumor, sell the news event, and it's coming again. So I just want you to be prepared. And by the way, I will link the article down in the description for you guys to check out. So definitely check out this information if you are into Ethereum or cryptocurrencies in general. All right. So Ethereum's Shanghai upgrade is a hard fork slated for March of 2023. All right. So the Shanghai fork will implement EIP 4895. All right. And that allows validators to withdraw ETH that has been staked since as long as December of 2020, all right? So about 14% of all ETH are currently staked, according to 16 million tokens and a current value of over $26 billion. So that's a lot, all right? Now, the Shanghai Fork also has several other EIPs, mostly designed to reduce gas costs for Ethereum developers, which is good. And the fork notably does include EIP 4844, which facilitates the sharding of Ethereum's blockchain into multiple chains in order to facilitate scalability. All right, so what's the important part of what I just read to you? So the important part is the Ethereum that has been staked since 2020. All right, now this is something that could be beneficial and it could be catastrophic. This upgrade is is, is actually a good thing, but we, we can trade it, right? Uh, <laughs> Or you can buy the dip because that's what that's what I think is coming. I think you're going to get a massive dip here in Ethereum at the end of March. It's going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news, which has been taking place. And I think since all of that Ethereum is going to be unlocked, I do believe you're going to have some dumping onto the market. I do believe those who have been staked for quite some time, I think they're going to release it. And I think they're going to release a lot of it. Uh, I want to say Ethereum was around $500 or less in December of 2020. So uh, right now it's trading close to say, 1800 right now. So that's a, that's a good chunk of change. And uh, pretty sure that qualifies for long term capital gains tax, by the way. So I do believe that you are going to get a opportunity to either you know short it if you want to. Or you can just buy the dip. I think I'm just going to buy the dip. I just, I, I don't like putting risk on top of a risk asset. That's just not my thing, right? That's why I got the gold here. That's why I believe in it. I mean, that's just, uh, it's a little bit extra for me. So, all right. So that's, that's the Ethereum upgrade. Uh, that's the Ethereum uh, update that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So let me know what your thoughts are about that. Uh, let me know your comments and questions down below. And as always, guys, keep grinding on your stack.